What's going on there, body? It's Funky Nights, and I want to come you guys with another video. Coming at you with my Eagles Packers um, post game video here. Eagles getting the victory by a score of 34 to 28 in what was a very wild game, you know, that came down to the very last play, literally. Um, before I get, I really get into this video, I just want to say, um, you know, prayers for Avante Maddox. Avante Maddox at the end of the game, towards the end of the game, um, he, he ran into, um, you know, going for a tackle, ran into and Andrew Sadejo. Um, he, he had to be carved off the field. What else is new, right, man? These, these, these injuries have just been kicking our ass. You know, we lost we lost Sidney Jones as well, but who knows how long. Uh, Fletcher Cox got a little banged up, too, but he came back into the game. So, hopefully nothing too serious with him. Hopefully Sidney Jones, nothing too serious for him. Prayers for Vontae Maddox that, you know, he's going to be okay, that, you know, you know, this is, you know that uh, if he missed time, it's just going to be a couple weeks. That's the whole. Uh, but anyway, just prayers for him. You know, you, you never want to see any player be part off the football field, no matter who they play for. That's something that I never want to see. And no no fan should want to see a player, you know, get caught off the field. So definitely prayers for Vontae Maddox, man. That was tough to watch. You know, you hate to see that going for a tackle, running to his teammate, and um, having to be caught off the field. So hopefully Avante Mads is going to be fun. Like I said, Eagles get the win 34-27. It was your typical game, man. The Eagles secondary. I can't, where do I even begin with the Eagles secondary? They were just getting diced up as normal, just getting absolute diced up most of the game by Aaron Rodgers. They made some big plays at the end of the game, though, when it mattered. They had a big four, they had a big goal line stand there, which, which is key. And then the very last, the very last play for the defense, they um, they um, got the interception off the deflection. Um, Nigel Brown got a, got the interception to clinch the win for the Eagles. So this secondary still scares the hell out of me, man. Um, it, it, it scares the hell out of me. It does scare the hell out of me. We gotta figure something, something out with this secondary. Not having Sidney Jones and Avante Maddox for who knows how long. Harry Roseman, pick up that phone, and make a call, man. I don't care if it's Jalen Ramsey, that'd be great. But there are some other corners out there, man. Pick up that phone. We got, we gotta get some help at corner. Um, the good thing is, is that you know we have ten days before our next game against the Jets. So we got ten games before the next. I'm mean, excuse me, 10, ten days before our next game against the Jets. So we got time to um, trade for a player, bring them in, get them accustomed with the defense. Um, some players, like I said, got banged up, so they're gonna have a little extra time to heal up. Um, so yeah, we, we gotta take advantage of these next couple days, man. Take it, take the time to heal up, man. Get ready for our next game against the Jets next Sunday. It's gonna be great, man. Sitting back this Sunday. And just watch a stress-free football, you know, um, not having to worry about the Eagles. Eagles get their win today, so it's going to be great. Now, I'm going to go over these stats real quick for this game. And, of course, I'm going to talk a little bit more about the game afterwards. So, with that said, let me go get started on the stats here. Um, Carson Wentz had a pretty good day. You know, I have no complaints about Carson Wentz at all. Carson Wentz started off a little slow in the first the first quarter whatever, but that's that second quarter and, and on from there. Carson Wentz and the Eagles offense got it going. They got it going. Uh, Carson Wentz had, was 16 for 27. Um, he had 160 yards passing, three touchdown passes. So, like I said, Carson Wentz showed up today, man. He played very well. Um, no complaints about Carson Wentz today, man. He played well. Um, Doug Peterson finally did what I freaking said, man. Run that damn football. And when you run that football, Doug, you see what happens. And not only did he run that football, he gave more carries to the guy who I said deserved more carries, and that's Jordan Howard. So let's go over the rushing here. Rushing here, Jordan Howard had 15 carries for 87 yards, so nearly a 100-yard game. Uh, he had five point. He averaged 5.2 yards a carry, two touchdowns by Jordan Howard. So I am so happy that he finally got the ball more to Jordan Howard, and it paid off, man. Nearly had a 100-yard game. Um, Miles Sanders had a great day as well. 
11 carries for 72 yards, average 6.5 yards to carry. So great day by Malchaz as well. Carson Wentz, 6 carries for 13, 13 yards, 2.2 yards, average to carry. Um, Darren Sproles, 1 carry for 4 yards, 4.0 yards average. Um, receiving, receiving, um, great day by Zach Ertz. Zach Ertz had 7 catches for 65 yards, 9.3 yards average to catch. Um, Oh, Sean Jeffrey coming back you know, from his injury, you know, coming back. It was great to have Jeffrey back on there, and it definitely helped a lot. Jeffrey had three catches for 38 yards, 12.7 yards average, a tuck, and including the touchdown reception. Um, Jordan Howard, Jordan Howard, you know, uh, also contributed in the, in the receiving game. Jordan Howard had three catches for 28 yards, 9.3 yards average, and a touchdown receiver. So two, so um, yeah, so two um, rushing touchdowns for Howard and one receiving touchdown for Howard. So great day by Jordan Howard. Dallas Goddard, two catches for 16 yards, 8.0 yards average, one touchdown for Dallas Goddard. Matt Collins, one catch for 13 yards. Defensively, defensively, um, uh, starting off with Ronnie McLeod, he had six tackles, three tackle assists. Avante Maddox, um, like I said, prayers for him. Five tackles, three tackle assists. Andrew Sadejo, uh, four tackles, four tackle assists. Zach Brown, four tackles, two tackle assists. Rasua Douglas, four tackles, two tackle assists. Nigel Bradham, three tackles, two tackle assists. Including the game winning interception on Aaron Rodgers. Derek Barnett, three tackles, one tackle assists, one sack, which was also a forced fumble. Um, Michael Jenkins, three tackles, one tackle assist. Fletcher Cox, two tackles, one tackle assist. Sidney Jones, two tackles. Um, Josh Sweat, two tackles. Um, Brandon Graham, one tackle, one tackle assist. Jonathan Cyprian, one tackle. Nate Gary, one tackle. Hassan Ridgeway, one tackle. Um, when it comes to returns, uh, Mal Sanders had a big return for us, a really big return. He had two returns for 77 yards, average 38.5 yards a uh, return. Um, like, like I said, a big like 66 yard return, which set us up for, for a touchdown. So, great day by Miles Sanders you know, overall. When it came to kicking, um, J um, Jake Allen made all four of his um, extra points. So, yeah, Eagles get the win. It was not an easy win. This right here was a damn fight. Aaron Rodgers would not make it easy on us. You know, it came down to, like I said, the very, like, the very, very end, man. But the Eagles, the, the, you know, despite the injuries, you know, despite these damn injuries catching up with us, man, these guys refused to give up. They stuck in there, and they got the job done. Like I said, I'm very concerned about this secondary, um, losing Sidney Jones and Avante Mads in the same game. Then you have uh, Ronald Darby, who's going to be out for who knows how long. Pick up the phone, High Roseman. Pick up the phone. I don't, I don't care anymore, man. I would love to get Jerry Ramsey in here, but we, we need help. We need help right now. Pick up that phone. Pick up that phone. Make a call to fix the secondary, man. It was not good at all with those guys, so we got to do something, man. We got to do something to fix that secondary. Um, offensively, I'm glad this offense got together in that, in that second quarter and so on. Um, the defense was struggling for a lot of this game. The offense is what kept us in this game for the most for most of this game. Like I said, Carson Wentz did his thing, man. I can't critique Car I can't say anything bad about Carson Wentz at all, man. Carson Wentz showed up to play. It was a little slow in that first quarter, but he got together, man, and his offense started getting in the rhythm. And we, um, I think, if I'm not mistaken, I think this was this was the first time at halftime this season that we actually led. We went to halftime with a 21 to 20 lead, and we never gave a lead up after that. You know, we went with a 21 to, um, like I said, 21 to 20 lead at halftime. Never gave it up. So they, the Packers start off this game, you know, getting a touchdown in the first quarter, and you think to my, you think to yourself, oh my God, it's gonna be one of those damn games for the Eagles, isn't it? Um, but once we took that lead, man, we never gave it up. So I'm proud of these boys, man, with everything that, you know, all the injuries and stuff that hit that played them, man. They were resilient. They got the job done. I picked the Packers to win this game, but I told you guys, man, that I'm picking the Packers to win because the Eagles have to go out there and show me. They have to go out there and uh, play well and, uh, you know, before I pick them again. Um, they overall, I'm, I'm, I'm very happy with this win. We need this win. You know, after two straight losses, it was a it was a, it was a tough couple weeks for us, Eagle fans. Uh, we're two and two right now. We have a game against the Jets in ten days. We go win that game, approve the three and you know, three.
three and um you know three you know three and you know uh, three and two whatever and you know if we get a little help from the um the Saints you know the Cowboys hopefully will lose on our Sunday to the Saints hopefully um you know, that that will close that will put that will bring us within the game whatever the division so. You know, this season, they're still playing football. Let it go, man. It's only week four. I have not given up on this season. But, I, but like I said, this team had to go out there and show me something. And overall, man, it was a, it was a great team win. The, with all the obstacles and injuries and stuff that's been bothering us this year, it was a great team win. I thought Doug Peterson overall called a good game. Overall, a good game. Thank you for finally giving Jordan Howard that football. I've been saying that all year. Jordan Howard, I like Miles Sanders. You guys know how I feel about Miles Sanders. But Jordan Howard needs the ball more. Uh, what, what was the point of uh, trading for Jordan Howard if, you, if you're not going to use him that much? I'm glad the Dub Peasen finally started giving Jordan Howard that football. And the results on the field show that when you give him that ball, man, good things happen for your team. Miles Sanders did his thing as well, you know. Those two guys, man, I think it'd be a great two, you no know, two punch, whatever. You, and then you get those throws to commit in there as well, man. But running that football, man, especially with a team that is dealing with as many injuries as we are currently dealing with, running that football takes off takes a whole lot of pressure off of Carson Wentz. It really does. It takes a lot of pressure off of Carson Wentz when you get that strong running game going. And today we had we had well over 100 yards rushing, obviously. Um, like I said. Um, Jordan Howard, big day by Jordan Howard, had nearly 100 by himself, 87 yards. Um, Miles Sanders had 72 yards. So we had a very good day running, wearing down that Packers defensive line. So I'm, I'm very, very happy. But like I said, we got to get this secondary together, man. Going against Aaron Rodgers, who was still one of the best quarterbacks in the game. You know, he diced us up quite a bit. But, you know, we, we were able to get the job done. So I can't complain about much here. You know, we got the job done. But well, we got we got some improvements we gotta make, man. We gotta take this game and we gotta build off of it. We gotta take this win here and build off of it. You know, we got a game against the Jets. I'm not taking the Jets lightly. I don't take any opponents we play lightly. Any given Sunday, you just never know. So, you no, know, some people might say that we should beat the Jets with no problem, but I'm not gonna go there. Any given Sunday, so I'm I'm gonna respect the Jets just like I respect all our opponents. I'm not gonna take them lightly at all. You know, we gotta get ourselves healthy. Man, we gotta get these players healed up and get ready for the Jets next Sunday. But yeah, Eagles winning prime time, Sunday night football in Green Bay at Lambeau Field, which is one of the toughest places to go win at. Go going to going to the Packers Stadium, Lambeau Field, and winning the game is one of the toughest places to go. That's one of the toughest places to go win at. I can't remember the last time we actually won at Lambeau Field. The last time we played them at Lambeau Field, we lost. This time around, we obviously got the win. That's a very, very tough place to go to go um, to win at. Those Green Bay Packers are some of the best fans in the league. You know, they really are a very loyal uh, fan base. Just like our fan base is very loyal and passionate as well. So going to Lambeau Field and getting the victory, man, huge victory. Absolutely huge victory. I cannot, un I cannot stress that enough how big this victory is in prime time at their stadium so it's, it's absolutely huge man like i said we gotta take this win build off of it man and um you know keep this thing going let's let's let this be what sets the tone for the entire season let this win right here be the win that brings us together and and we go on a winning streak here that's my hope you know, we that four fours in 2017 it was against the New York Giants. We had that game, and that and that set the tone for a big winning streak there. Let this game right here, let this game right here set the tone for this season, man. Let this be that seat. Let this be that game that absolutely launches our season, and we go on the winning streak here. Because you know, there's a long season here, man, and I still do believe we have a good football team. We just have to get it together, man. We have to come together as a team. We have a good team here. But we have to, we have to, everything has to come together and hopefully guys get healthy and stuff. So, anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this thing up, man. I'm, I'm very happy right now. I can't complain about much. There's things I could, I could cheat, which I just did, but overall, I'm happy. Eagles improved to two and two back at 500. Um, we have 10 days off. Everybody just sit back and relax on Sunday, watch stress free football. We'll, we'll have to stress out by the Eagles. We got our win. Let's just sit back. Uh, and hopefully, for me, hopefully, we get to see the Cowboys get beat by the Saints. We'll see what happens there. 
But anyway, man, I'm very happy about this win. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Once again, the Eagles get the win in Green Bay, 34 to 27. Came down to the very end. Aaron Rodgers would not take would not take it easy on us, but we got done. As always, go birds. Spunky nice and I one is out of here. Great win, boys. Build off this. Let's get ready for the New York Jets next Sunday. Fly, Eagles, fly. Peace.